Um, then I did a movie called Moon Point that was a, a, a credit card film. Mm -hmm. So that was my, I guess, first foray in, into producing Your own myself. money? My own money, yeah. Make it back? I did, yeah. How much was the budget? 75 and we made 80. That's a win. That is a, That's that a, is win. a win. That is That's a, a big win. Especially when, you know, the visa card was paid off, absolutely. And were you married at the time? Yes. Yeah, when, just was had your wife my... killing you? A little bit, yeah. Right. We're back! You don't use headphones? It's not like a studio? What I you want me to use headphones? I pictured it like a... To the chagrin, I guess, of my film professors. I mean, I, I produce and direct and edit. I mean, I know you should only focus on, on one thing, but I, I tend to do all three, so... You know what, I'll tell you though. Today, I think... I think what you're saying was relevant about maybe five years ago or ten years ago. Today I don't believe that. Today I actually believe that in order to get anywhere, having that sort of, you know, the ability to be the director, the producer, the writer, or just to wear multiple hats, a skill set that you probably welcome having now versus not having. I'm, I'm uh, guessing. Absolutely, yeah. The film you've, you've got out right now is called Kiss and Cry. Yeah. It's about to come out. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to, can we, can, can we talk some details? Let's talk about that. Okay. Kiss and Cry is a romantic drama about Carly Allison. Uh, up-and-coming figure skater and singer who's diagnosed with an incredibly rare cancer um, just as she finds love so right there we have you know the romance angle she's a figure skater so you were really just, so you were really cognizant of what the marketing of the film would be before yeah, you even started absolutely and setting up those partnerships during production so that they could right. pay off at, at the distribution phase and do you feel it is paying off right now 100 percent being able to access all these mailing lists and and tapping into um, resources that they already have as their own communities is, is um, exponentially sp uh, spreading the word as, as far as it can go. Full Out is uh, based on the true story of Ariana Berlin, who was an up-and-coming gymnast who gets in a severe car accident and has to sort of relearn to use her body through the help of um, this coach at, at UCLA. Like, we made it to be in, in, in tune with the, the Summer Olympics last year, and uh, as the Olympics rolled out, 195 U.S. broadcasters picked it up for for a, a national sort of release across the states. Who was doing the uh, distribution or getting the placement for you? Um, so I work with a, a gentleman, Jeff Deverett. He's my uh, business partner, and Jeff did the syndication deals himself. No kidding. One by one, contacted. He contacted each broadcaster. It was a, a massive undertaking. Okay, I want to hear more about this. This is really interesting. Yeah. So t tell me about that process. Um, well, Jeff was the one that did all the work, but from, uh, you know, there was a map up on the board in the office with, um, sort of pins in it and, and every sort of broadcaster in that, in each state. And with a book, we just called every broadcaster, sent them the link and it's sort of, like I said, once the ball is rolling. local broadcasters, like a local broadcaster? Well, it's like NBC and But like the local New York. affiliate. Yeah. The, yeah, the, yeah. The NBC affiliate yeah. in New yes. York. Yes, yeah. So you call, I want to, WSNBC, yes. New yes. York. Yes, you got it. Call them. Yes. Speak to the... The programming manager there, the program director. Do you want to program this? Yes. And they say yes? Yes. And they pay you money? Uh, through a ad share revenue stream. So you, 50% um, of the ads that are... Uh, sold that night. Go yeah. to go to the filmmaker. But, okay. So it's a it's can a, we, it's can, a we, can we just blow it, my mind right there? Come it, on. It's a hard way to make a, um, sales. It's so much easier to go with a sales agent and just them do the work for you. But yeah. if you want no, but to, but nobody does this. Nobody does it. This is the thing. Because it's ridiculous. Nobody it's ridiculous, and, and it's it's a massive undertaking. How many phone calls did you make to get the 195? Probably double that at least. Yeah. Okay, so you made 400 phone calls. Yes. <laughs> on an ad share. Sure. With, well, that's amazing. Yeah. I, sorry, I, I'm going to just emphasize this for just a second because if you're listening to this or you're watching this on YouTube, that's, that's hustle. It's insane. That is hustle. It's insane as well. You